Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to rig a two-handed rifle for your character inside Blender, so that way the character can use both hands on the same weapon and start animating the character with it. So let's get started. So starting off, I'm going to reset the origin of the rifle to the handle. So right now it's at the grip on this side, so we need to set it to right here. Let's go to edit mode on your rifle, press L on the handle if you have one, or just, you know, maybe try to set it in the center. Press Shift S and the cursor to select it. Go back into object mode, right click on the rifle, and set the origin to 3D cursor. So now it's gonna rotate on the handle rather than the grip, which is the first step. So now we need to create two empty axes, one on this side and one on the other side for the other hands. So press empty, shift A, create an empty plane axis. Let's move it right here to wherever the hand is. and duplicate it. So move it to the other side. I'm going to name this one Gun Controller. And I'm going to name this one Left Hand Controller. So basically, the way this works is you want the right hand, the right hand IK, so this bone right here, to control the gun itself. So the gun's going to be parented to that bone. It's actually going to be parented to this empty axis, and then this empty axis is going to be parented to the right hand. So this is just like a position for the gun to be at. And so this uh, empty axis here is going to be parented to the right hand IK, and then the gun is going to be parented to the empty axis. And then for the left hand, it's going to basically stick on this side right here, on the grip, and the left hand IK is going to have a bone constraint once you go in pose mode, but it'll have a bone constraint of copy location and copy rotation to that empty axis, which is right here. So now select your empty axis for the right hand and select your shift, select your armature, go to pose mode and select this bone here. So right hand IK or hand IK.R and press control P to parent to bone. So now this bone here controls the empty axis and the gun is going to be basically sticking to this empty axis. So let's move it into position. Just drag this bone forward to the handle, which is like right here. And do your best to pose it and make it look good. Now you may have to rotate the gun like 90 degrees to the right, so that way it can align with the hand better. So I'm going to go into object mode, select the gun, and press R, Z, 90. Actually, in this case, it's going to be negative 90, since we want it to rotate the other way. So R, Z, negative 90. So that way it matches with the alignment of the hand. And just kind of move it into position where the hand is. So that way the fingers kind of wrap around the grip properly. And that the thumb is basically on this side. And the fingers are on this side. So that looks good. So now go ahead and wrap the fingers around the grip. So go into pose mode and just kind of select all these bones here. I'm going to turn on individual origins. So this little icon here. Press R, X, X, and rotate all the fingers inward and wrap around the handle. Just kind of position one by one if you want. So here, this one's going to be wrapping around the trigger. And these are pretty much good. And then you'll make sure to wrap the thumb around, kind of bend the thumb a little bit. Move it inward. That looks good. So now you can go back into object mode, select the gun itself, and then shift select the empty axis again. Press control P and keep offset or keep transform. So that way the empty axis now controls the gun itself, but the empty axis is also controlled by the right hand. So when you move this bone here, it'll also move the gun and the empty axis with it. 
And so now we need to work on the left side and on the left hand. So for the left hand, it's going to be a little bit different since basically you want this bone to be able to let go of its uh, parents. So right now it has you know no constraints, but it's going to be sticking to this axis right here. But this axis is actually going to be like right here on the grip itself. And so now you can go ahead and go into pose mode in the armature, suck this bone, add copy location and copy rotation on the bone constraints tab right here, and set the target as the empty axis and the rotation. Also the same target. And so now, go into object mode, parent the empty axis to the gun itself. So control P, select the axis, shift select the gun, control P, keep uh, transform. And now you can actually rotate the hand in object mode. And the, this, this axis will control the bone itself. So now just go ahead and pose out your fingers, wrap it around the grip. And if, you, uh, if your gun's a little bit small, you can go into object mode, scale the whole thing up a little bit, make it a little bit easier to control. And just pose out your fingers. So once you have everything posed out, now this video is done, and once you go into pose mode, you can actually now move your character with the gun in his hand. Might require some adjustments every now and then, but you can actually pose the character and start aiming with the gun with both hands. And if you want your character to only one hand the weapon, you can actually go to this bone here and set the value of influence and rotation to zero. So now he's one-handing the rifle, which is what we want. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, and I'll try to answer them. And if you could please consider liking and subscribing. It really help out my channel. and allow me to just do this uh, more often, but also to keep it up. So anyways, uh, I hope you all guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.